Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, guys, we are still going through the grade 11 mathematical literacy paper 2 that was written in November 2022 by the Eastern Cape Province learners. And in today's video tutorial, guys, we're going to be tackling question 4.2. And question 4.2, guys, still deals with scales, right? So we're going to be using this number scale still that is given to us, right, to help us convert a measured length into an actual length. In the previous video tutorial, guys, we were converting what an actual length into a measured length. In this video tutorial, we are going to be converting a measured length into what the actual length is right using this number scale that is given to us right we are also going to be calculating um area so we also have some measurement questions here where we're calculating area and still guys we've got some conversions we're going to be doing some conversions okay so at this point i think you guys should uh, be able to do your conversions if you've been watching my video tutorials since paper one okay um you should be fine with converting your length you should be fine with converting your weight you should be fine with converting your um liquids okay so please make sure that you watch all my video tutorials because I, I keep emphasizing how you guys should approach um, certain questions. So please make sure that you guys don't skim through the video tutorials. If you can watch the entire video tutorial, it is really, really going to do you guys justice when it comes to um, helping you guys approach your questions. So before we get started with today's video tutorial, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial, guys. And also, please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because it really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks. So without any further ado, guys, let's get started with today's video tutorial. So question 4.2 says that um, the winner was selected randomly and Mr. Sukutu won the grand prize of 150,000. He submitted 1,000 entries out of a total 10,000 entries for the competition. He further decided to use 90,000 from the 150,000 to extend his single garage into a, a double garage he had a draft he had a draftsman draw up the plan and the plan is drawn below so we are told that mr sukutu basically won a grand prize of hundred and fifty thousand rand okay and we are told that he submitted a thousand entries into uh, this competition out of the ten thousand entries that they received okay in total for the competition right and we are told that mr sukuti then decided to take ninety thousand, right from the hundred and fifty thousand that he won to extend his single garage into a double garage okay and he had a draftsman draw up the plan and we are given now the plan below right we are given what the length is um for this double garage that he wants to do and we are given what the width is right so these measurements are the measurements on paper okay the length on paper is 50.4 millimeters the width on paper is 25.6 millimeters okay so you already now know that we're going to have to then determine what is the actual length of this garage in real life what is the actual width of this garage in real life using what using this scale number scale that is given to us all right let's continue it says note refer to the diagram above and use the scale okay question 4.1.2 okay it says calculate the actual length okay we want to determine what is the actual length and the breadth of the existing and planned new garage in meters using the given scale okay so we want to determine what is the actual length what is the actual width of this garage in 
meters okay so the first thing that we're going to do guys remember okay let's just figure out what is the scale t telling us okay so this number scale is saying one is two 150 okay so we are told that one unit on paper is equal to 150 units in real life okay so this one is the actual right value okay and we're just gonna you see i'm still using the same method that i've basically explained to you guys in the previous video tutorial so if you watch the pre previous video tutorial right you already know what's happening or you already know what i'm about to do here okay so guys please make sure that you keep watching my video tutorials you will never go wrong okay with this method okay so now what are we given we're given the measured length right and we're given that this measured length is 50.4 millimeters okay and we're given the method measured width okay so we're given the measured length which is equal to 50.4 millimeters and we're given the measured width which is equal to 25.6 millimeters okay and remember guys i mentioned in the previous video tutorial right that it's just better for you because remember we want to determine what is the new the actual garage's dimensions right in meters okay so it'll do us justice to just just start off by converting these millimeters into meters so that now when we now go into using this um equation our units are already in meters and it makes our lives easier okay and simple like that so let's start off by converting these millimeters into meters okay by using this method the graphical method that i've shown you guys right how we can move from millimeters to meters okay so that is how you guys you should remember this by now okay so how are we going to move from millimeters to um meters okay so we are already here we are in millimeters and we want to go to meters so what are we going to do we're going to move from the right going to the left so we're going to divide because we're moving from a smaller unit to a bigger unit okay so we're going to divide by 10 however when we just divide by 10 it puts us at centimeters okay and we don't want to have our units in centimeters we want to have our units in meters so we need to then further on divide by another 100 right divide by 100 to put us at meters okay so that is the same if we divide by 10 and then further on divide by 100 that is the same as us just dividing by a thousand you can check that guys right and you'll get the same answer so even if you just say divide by 10 and then you divide by 100 you'll still get the same answer okay um as you would if you just divided by a thousand okay so punch this into your calculator right and get the answer same here we are still moving from millimeters right to meters so we're going to divide by 10 it puts us at centimeters we need to continue divide by 100 puts us at meters so that's the same as just dividing by a thousand okay so if you punch this into your calculator 50.4 divided by a thousand you will see that okay the measured length in meters is equal to 0 0.0504 meters do not round off leave it the way it is right 25.6 divided by 100 that'll give you sorry divided by a thousand okay that'll give you 0 0.0256 meters okay so we've converted now the measured length into into meters okay all that's left for us to do now is to determine what is the actual length of this garage in real life using this formula that i have basically um this equation that we have here okay so how are we going to do that guys i'm just going to do it here on the side okay so what are we going to do we're going to take the zero we're going to start off by converting the length so this is our actual length i'll just say the actual length is equal to we're going to take that 0 0.0504 meters then you're going to multiply by what do we want we want the units in real life so we're going to multiply by 150 right and you are going to divide this by what we have okay 
what do we have what are we given already okay we've got the units on paper okay and it's just one okay so you're gonna divide by one okay so here what do you notice if you punch this into your calculator you'll get that that the you will get that the actual length is equal to 7.56 meters okay that is the value of your actual length right and then how do we get the actual width so your actual width you do the same thing okay i'm gonna take your width of 0 0.0256 meters multiply by what we want right we want the units in real life so you multiply by 150 okay and then you divide by what do we have we just have the units um that are represented on paper so you're gonna divide by one okay so then if you punch this into your calculator you'll get that the actual width of this garage okay is just equal to 3.84 meters okay all right and we are basically done with question 4.2 point one okay hope that was nice and easy especially if you watched the previous video tutorial okay let's have a look at the next question question 4.2.2 it says calculate the floor space he will now have available in his new double garage give your answers to the nearest square meters okay so they want you to determine what is now the area of this floor floor space okay how much area will this new floor space cover right so we are just going to be calculating the area of the rectangle okay we already calculated what the length is we already calculated what the width is right and all that we want to do we want to calculate the area okay and to help you with just being able to determine which dimensions you are supposed to use it says to the nearest square meters okay so that basically means that you're going to use your dimensions for your actual garage okay so in this case what does that mean for us to calculate the area so this is question 4.2.2 we know that to get the area of a rectangle we are told that we need to take your length and multiply it with your breadth okay it's just your length multiplied with your breadth okay so the breadth is the same as your width guys okay so what was the length that we've obtained what is the length of the garage the actual length of our garage was 7.56 meters and then what was the width or the breadth okay it was 3.84 meters okay and then you'll see that 7.56 multiplied by 3.84 will give you 29.0304 and it's meters times it by meters so it's meters squared okay however the answer the question was asking you to basically round off the answer to the nearest square meters okay so if you round it off to the nearest square meters okay that is approximately equal to 29 okay if you round it off to two decimal places it's 29.03 meters squared but if we're asked to round it off to the nearest square meters right we want to round it off to the nearest whole number so it's just going to be equal to 29 meters squared okay so that is the area that is covered by the floor of this new extended um double garage okay and we are basically done guys with question uh 4.2 right hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial okay please make sure that you have your notification bells turned on for the next question because in the next question we are going to be tackling question 4.3 question 4.3 deals with probability okay so i'll see you guys on my next tutorial that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.